what a difference a day makes. Last time we were here, it was freezing cold. I remember it was raining because we complained about the lack of canopies and the hotel was closed and we couldn't register the car and we had to pay to park to charge. Oh, what a nightmare. Today, full sunshine, hotels fully open and the chargers, we've got some new signage up and we've got still no canopy but the chargers are here and one of the things I was pointed out that I missed out last time was the auto charge. I registered for auto charge but I didn't actually film it at the time so here we are to correct that. Today we've had a trip into the hotel, a lot of news from there and we're now going to try the auto charge. So we came here to talk about auto charge. Now Fastnet has got a fantastic auto charge facility. All you do is you need their app. It's a free app, you register your car, you register a payment method, and that alone can allow you to charge at these really simply. But the beauty of the auto charge is it goes one step further. When you charge here for the first time, if you tell the app that you want to be enrolled in the auto charge facility, what it will do when you finish charging here for the first time, it will ask you on the screen, do you want to save your details for auto charge? And that's as simple as it is. If you say yes, what it does then, it will store your card details, your payment details, your car details, and next time you arrive here, all you have to do is plug it in. You don't need an app, you don't need a RFID card, you don't need a contactless payment, you don't need anything. You literally drive in, plug it in, and the car will recognize the charger, the charger will recognize the car, and the charger will know that you've got a recognized payment system set up, so it just simply starts charging, and when you finish, you just turn off the charge in the normal way from your app or from your car, and at that point, it will then calculate the payment, and as you drive out of the uh, charger location, it will take that payment out of your chosen method, whether it's a, a debit card or a credit card or Apple Pay or whatever it is they take. So this is a fabulous thing, it just makes charging so much easier. Once you've set up auto charge, that's the end of it. Every time you come to a Fastned, these are all over Europe. Uh, they're not that big in the UK yet, there's quite a few of them, but they're not that big. But Europe, they're massive, so if you're going on a road trip, uh, you can set your auto charge up here, and then when you go abroad, if you're using Fastned abroad, just go to those, plug in, drive off, as simple as that. Important to point out here, a couple of things. We've got some new signage now, which wasn't here last time. First one says, Dear patron, use this car park is free of charge to hotel guests and those using our facilities. Facilities include the chargers. This is also the case when availing of the Fastnet charger station. Uh, to ensure you do not receive a parking fine, please make your way to the hotel reception and log your vehicle registration. Well, the hotel now is the IBIS. Last time we were here, it was closed for refurbishment. We couldn't actually get in it, and so I ended up paying. It was £2 for a session, but it was the principle. So when you go in there now, we'll show you this, uh, there is a small terminal in there. You just simply put your details in, and it gives you four hours of free parking. Four hours is more than enough that you need uh, to fill your car on one of these, which are 300 kilowatts, because this sign actually now says two cars can charge here simultaneously. 300 kilowatts, each of those gets uh, half of that if you're both charging at once, which is 150 kilowatts, which is more than enough for most people. While you get four hours free, charge, uh, free parking, you get one hour electric vehicle charging. They do not want people hogging the, uh, hogging the chargers once you've filled your car. There are very few cars about plugged into a 300 kilowatt charger who will take anywhere near an hour to fill up a battery, even if it's empty. So an hour is plenty. So general etiquette, I'm parked over there. I don't park in chargers unless I'm charging. So I will be pulling in in a minute. I'll be testing out the auto charge. Uh, but once you've finished charging, just head back, just pull it across. It's 10 feet. Just pull it away from the charger. Um, 
But if you are charging here, you've got obviously the full facilities of the hotel. They're open 24 hours a day now. They do breakfast, lunches and dinners. Uh, they also have coffee on tap all the time and it's a very welcoming environment in there. So check that one out as well. A uh, number of viewers said that the restaurant opposite, you can go in there and register. You can't. That restaurant is nothing to do with these charges whatsoever. Everything is dealt with through the hotel. And talking to the manager of the hotel, what we found out is that the owner of the group, the Ibis Styles, is a huge EV fan. He's got these charges here. He was instrumental in getting them here, but he's realized already that these are not suitable for overnight guests. You can't plug your car in here because 30, 40, 50 minutes, your car's full. Uh, he's in the process of installing, they haven't started yet, in installing fast chargers overnight for the use of their hotel guests. So if you are on a trip up to Scotland and you decide to have an overnight stop, this one will offer you the hotel, the meals and everything else. It will also offer you a fast charge if you're not stopping, but if you are stopping overnight, you'll have a, uh, a slower charge available for you. Just leave your car plugged in overnight. It will be fully charged in the morning. And I understand, although I can't confirm this, I understand that that could well be free to hotel guests. So this is what we call a destination charger. And if it's a free one, this is a great place to stop. It really is. We're about one mile off the M6. So it's a really handy location. So if you can stay here overnight, get your breakfast in the morning, car's fully charged on your way to Scotland. Scotland's two hours up the road. Great location. Okay, screen. Uh, Fastnet have always had a great screen. It's very informative. Um, it's saying start your session. We've got 69 pence per kilowatt hour. That's 10 pence below Osprey, Gridserve and most of the others and 16 pence behind Instavolt. Uh, this is a good location on its own. Uh, you can start with a charge card, a bank card or the Fastnet app. So you've got three choices here. It takes you through the, uh, through the process. Uh, but on a previous visit here, uh, viewers might remember that we actually set up the auto charge facility, but we've never used it since. So I'm going to move my car from in the parking area opposite, and we're going to come here. And the principle is that I literally take this plug out, plug it into the car. That's it. Uh, this will tell me it's on auto charge and I don't have to use an app, a bank card or anything. It will literally just plug in and charge. And when I unplug and drive away, it will charge my uh, debit card. Right, so here we are, the moment of truth. Oh, by the way, if anyone can tell me why I need this, you get a brownie point. It's an adapter. Now, let's see what we've got. Oh, checking ID, verification ID, CCA. Oh, how simple is that? I have to say, that is a very fast auto charge system. I am really impressed. It has recognized the car, recognized my payment method, and everything started. I'm showing a 51% battery state of charge, and it's starting to put energy in at the moment. Uh, charging power, we're running up 50, 55 uh, kilowatts. Uh, I'm not here to charge, I don't need to charge. I live fairly close to here. Uh, but let's see, can we see that one again? One session active. There you go. Uh, so there we go, uh, details are on there. Okay, that, that was amazingly much simpler and quicker than I thought. I have seen these before and they don't take that sort of time. What's happened is you plug it in, it just instantly within a second, just recognizes you're plugged in, verifies your car, verifies your payment method, and it's done, it's instantly charging. And at that point, it gives you all the information you need to know. What it's showing now, we've got one session active. So let's see what we've got. Uh, so we've here, 53% state of charge, 50 kilowatt hours, about right for my car at this state of charge. Energy added 1.73 kilowatt hours, charging time 2 minutes 28. Now, I'm just checking, can I pull out of this from here? No, I'll do it on the car. So all I've done, I've just ended the charging session. So that now pulls out, my secret adapter comes off and this goes back. 
okay, everything's as it should be. There's no way of saying you've got to pay. It's just ended the session and it now says nothing. Uh, you're ready to go. So literally you unplug it either from an app or from your screen. You unplug it, plug it back in, close that, put my adapter back. So I've always got that. I know I'm not going to accidentally tell you why I've got that. Uh, that's for you to decide. Uh, that's it. So um, Fastnet, really impressed with the service. Really impressed. If this works at everyone throughout Europe, exactly the same. This is a great service. Simplifies things so much. You don't need your bank card. You don't need an RFID card. You don't need an app. As long as you can drive here, plug in, that's all you need. So hugely impressed. Well, for anyone who watched our last video from this location where we did a full video on it, you will know exactly what this is. If you haven't seen that video, link down below. Just click on that and find it. But it's still here. I'm Dave.